because people that are there, so many, they are not working. They are finishing school, they are finishing studies, universities, but they are not working. Why? Because that kind of people like Kabila, they are coming to destroy the country. They are giving our, our, our resources to the intellectual other people. Why? family cannot come says we we will not let the power go to the country you guys have been governed by a constitution in the, the country we have a law no one is above the law in all over the world all the countries have been governed by the constitution the constitution of congo says that anyone who becomes president can only stand for two terms and mr kabila so what have you done in congo or doing in congo to challenge the constitution to challenge the constitution so that um he is then uh, brought, brought uh, the, pardon me, what are you then doing to ensure that your constitution is upheld yes. and to ensure that um, elections take place and that, um, you know, free uh, free elections take place and perhaps another president okay, the people of Congo, we started earlier on this year, in 2015, the president tried to modify our constitution. People in the Congo and all over the world stood up and said, no. We have to keep the constitution as it is. Then Mr. Kamila failed to do that. Then since this time, he's been trying to change our constitution for him to stay in power. But people have been not willing for that to happen. So up to today, Mr. Kamila is supposed to step down last week, this week, on the 19th of uh, December 2016. But Mr. Kamila doesn't want to go. Right. My only concern, or what I really needed to ask or hear from you as you guys can, if he does not, that's that's the main question, if he does not, should he not, what is your stance, what is your way forward, what do you then do as members? Okay, okay, okay sorry. Okay. There, were, sorry no, 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 no. there were an apartheid in South Africa, white people refused to stop killing black people, what people decided to do, they fought. For freedom, Mandela fought for freedom. Yes. We are doing the same can thing. We're gonna keep fighting until Kabila have to leave Congo. Must leave power. 
you must leave us freedom. All we need is freedom. It's freedom. Not us asking to, to step down. It's how our constitution says that Mr. Kabila has ended his term, so he needs to step down, so leave the country in a peaceful way. That's all we need. Okay, let, let, let me come back a, a, a bit about how the situation So, I do not agree to say that uh, there's democracy in the DRC. First of all, you must remember that there's a conspiracy in Congo to split the country the country into, I'm saying, the, the DRC is, is in a big conspiracy, even South Africa is part of the conspiracy. United States, Israel, and so many countries. That is the first, the first thing. The, 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 the actual president, or, or the, the person who is in power today, has, has, is no, was, has never been a son of Kabila. He was, in a power, but he's he not was only an power. adopted son of Kabila, and he's not a biological son of Kabila. The fact that he was imposed on the DRC is a conspiracy. Why? Because the Western world, including South Africa, Israel, and other countries, have been plotting against the DRC. This plot has not, has not started today. It has started before even we were born. In the 1886. So, the plan is to not to leave the DRC being dead by 